lovelies, it's Kate. Welcome back to another Sims 4 speed build. I decided to build the Barbie camper. After the Barbie dream house and the Barbie dream boat, it's time to build the Barbie camper. And I had so much fun, but I have to say, this is so chaotic like the whole speed build has chaotic energy because i had no idea how to create the shape of a camper in this game you will soon see what i'm talking about like right in the beginning of the video you just saw the finished product so to speak and you might have spotted the shape of the camper in the front and this is kind of the end result that we are going to reach at the very end of the video but here at this point, I was struggling a lot and I was working on a totally different version <laughs> of the camper. Like the front of the camper is going to look so weird, but I included it because you, I mean, it's just part of the process, I guess. And yeah, I just wanted to create the shape of a camper. You can see a debug car in the background. And I just used this to kind of have an idea of the size of the tires and different things so i'm not going to use the debug car in the build i wanted to create my own camper and the front of the camper so this is just sitting in the background so from this point on the car is more or less just chilling in the background and watching what i'm doing here and what i'm doing here is not really good because you can already see it it looks like a weird ice cream truck but not in a good way like it has a really spectacular <laughs> shape i don't know it's weird so yeah, I just used these wheels, these tires, and they are actually from the Werewolves pack, I think, and it's like a, it's like a chair. Your Sims can sit on it. I used tool to rotate it, and there are like so many debug tires in debug, but you can't rotate them. And I was like stressing. I was like, I have to find one that can be rotated and I then stumbled upon this seat and it's working like a charm. So I just rotated this. The decoration in the front is from Strangerville. It's a lamp and I was like looking for this for an hour until I tweeted out that I have to find this object a couple of days ago. I was like, I was thinking it has to be Strangerville for sure. And I was then looking at wall decorations, decorations in general, and I couldn't see it. I was then filtering by Strangerville and I clicked on like show all. I also didn't see it for whatever reason. I was then looking through a debug in the edit. I also couldn't see it. And then I was giving up and just treating out that I can find this object. And then everyone was like, it's it's a lamp from Strangerville. It's, it's a wall lamp. This is why I couldn't find it. And it comes in different colors. And I decided to use this pale blue swatch because it does not clash with the hot pink color and everything. And it looks cute. Of course, it would have been so cool if this would be pink. But later on, like in the end result, you don't really see it at all anymore. So it doesn't really matter. But yeah, here you can already see the really weird shape of the camper in the front. And don't worry, I'm going to fix this later. So if you're like, what is this? This person cannot build a camper. You are right. But eventually, I learned how to build it and I did better. So yeah, this is not the end result. And I used these really cute decorations. I don't even know what it is, but I used it inside the windows. And I also knew that I would like to like include some chairs so your Sims could sit in this. And later on, I'm going to make this functional. So this area, I'm going to include seats so it looks realistic. Also a steering wheel that I'm going to build but I also wanted to include a table. So this way your subs can actually sit down in there and eat. So it's like kind of actually functional because this thing is not going anywhere. <laughs> it's just it's just sitting there. It's, it's not functional. So it, like it doesn't drive. This is what I'm saying. It's functional in the sense of you can like move in and live in there, but it's like not going anywhere. So I just wanted to make the area on the front at least functional so your sims can have a meal in there. And I then just wanted to have this vibe where it's like opened up and your sims can chill on the outside. Of course, lots of pink. I just kind of missed to build something that's pink. Like ever since the Barbie dream house, I don't know what you've done to me. You were like 
build something using pink windows. And now we are here. We've reached the point where I've like created the third Barbie build. <laughs> I don't know what have you done to me, but I have so much fun. And yeah, I'm also going to work on some regular mentions again. So don't worry. This is like not just Barbie all the time. But someone requested the Barbie camper. And I was like, yes, the Barbie camper. This makes sense. We have a boat. We have a camper. And I actually like tried to create a Barbie in Cass. You might have spotted her in the beginning and she does not look like Barbie at all because I'm so bad at Cass and I just decided that she would have some some sunglasses so you wouldn't see the whole face. <laughs> so I could kind of hide the fact that she doesn't look like Barbie. I just put some really pink clothes on her and and blonde hair and the ponytail and yeah, I'm just really bad at Cass. Yeah, and I used different objects to create the, I don't know what it's like a patio area maybe. I used the awning uh, that is pink and also this really cute decoration from high school years, which is supposed to be used above a bed, I guess, because I just wanted this to be so cute and pink and there are these fairy lights. So when it's night and your Sims are just chilling there, it's like really cute. And I then also wanted to have an area where your Sims can sit up there. So in real campers, you would have an area up there where you could sleep, but I just wanted to have the inside fully closed. And I just turned this into an area where you can just sit and enjoy the view. And yeah, this is why it's a bit different from a realistic camper and yeah I was looking at so many pictures from the toy I never owned the camper as a kid but I had a friend who did so I had the honor to play with this toy in the 90s but I I never owned it I think there was also like a convertible like a really fancy car for Barbie there were so many different things and yeah and just they're like there's like so much stuff that I've kind of missed and there are like so many characters and and Cindy who is apparently Barbie's enemy and I had no idea that Barbie had enemies or, or someone she doesn't like but yeah I don't know I just played with the toys and I'm kind of out of the loop and I think I was always out of the loop I have to admit and yet at this point I'm decorating everything and you still see that the front of the car is definitely not perfect so this will happen at the end. I was basically done, I furnished it and I was then taking screenshots and looking at it and I was like this is not good, like something is very wrong and the, the problem is sometimes something looks kind of okay in a way but then as soon as you want to like want to create a thumbnail or just look at the screenshot you just kind of see that it's not looking good in a really weird way so I was then like okay I'm going to fix this or it's not going to happen like I don't want to upload this but then I think it turned out better but let me know in the comments down below if you like this version like when you look at the front of the car or like the end result just let me know what you think about this and also if you have any more requests for cool stuff to build, no matter if it's like something from Barbie or out of a movie or like a regular house, if you have any really cool requests, I'm always happy to hear them. And the more fancy or crazier, I'm, I'm just really down to create the coolest stuff right now. Yeah, and I turned this area in the back into a small bathroom. I'm going to make it even smaller in a second. I just started to furnish and I then realized that I could make the room even smaller. I play tested this so it's functional. I was afraid that the Sims could not walk by the toilet to reach the sink, but it's functional. I then cluttered a bit. You can see that there is a sim in the in the shower actually because I was already play testing this. I thought okay first I'm going to test this and then I'm going to keep furnishing because I like didn't want to finish the whole room only to find out that it's not functional. And I then expanded the back a little bit and the the whole idea was to have it like opened up in the front. But I also wanted this to be fully closed. So I used a doorway from Journey to Batu. This is the biggest, widest doorway we have in this game. If you don't have Journey to Batu, the game will probably replace this object. And you will probably have a regular doorway in there. What you could do in this case is you could just place multiple regular doorways next to each other. Like the big base game one. Or you could just remove the wall and keep it open. So 
if you don't own the pack, like you have to fix this in a way because I feel like the whole layout kind of relies on this gigantic doorway. But you could also just delete the wall. But I wanted this to be fully closed. And Sims can now like scoot over in a bed so they can just move to like the side that is on a wall, for example. This was added in the base game update before high school years came out. Apparently the scooting, I think it was like kind of part of the game, but never really worked. But now it's a thing which is why I placed the bed this way and I just had to make use of the limited space. I want the interior to be as cute as always. Like whenever I'm building a Barbie house, I want this to be really cute and pink and I tried to do the same thing. I cluttered this a bit and yeah, I did not have a lot of space, but it's also not a tiny house. So I was kind of okay, but I really had to make sure that everything kind of fits in there. I also wanted to include a desk, of course, and Barbie always has like all kinds of different jobs so she definitely needs the computer for her skills and to look for new jobs because we all know that Barbie just like she she's a doctor a lawyer a astronaut Barbie is just everything all at once <laughs> and yeah I think this is also like interesting I know that Barbie like in the past has been such a controversial topic and I know that they have done a lot to kind of do better there's so much more diversity when it comes to Barbie as far as I know like when I was a kid in the 90s things were different I think it's just amazing that Barbie has changed and that they decided to go with the times and that Barbie's still around because I mean back then Barbie meant so much to so many already and today it's like a completely different generation Barbie is still around and Barbie is continuing to touch so many people and I just hope that she will continue to be around because Barbie just means so much to so many people and this is like the coolest thing that Barbie is just still here and that she is here to stay and that we all have so many different memories about Barbie. And right now kids are creating their own memories and I just love this. And here I'm building a pool. I've used the kitty pool. I just placed it in the basement. This way it's not blocking the sims. So the pool is technically in the basement, but I raised it and I placed it over the regular pool. You don't need tool for this. I just used tool to find the perfect position, but you could just press nine on your keyboard and raise it. I also used this debug object from Strangerville, which just looks like AstroTurf. And I just wanted this to look once again, like I just want this to be very fake like a toy and I again used these palm trees that I've used for every single Barbie build because they look so fake and plastic which is perfect and here I'm finally fixing the front of the camper. You can see a version in the background where I was kind of experimenting and I was just trying to make it work because I just thought okay I have to find a way and I then changed it on the original one but I did it different than the one in the background. I was just trying different things and I decided to also use the lamp from Strangerville but I'm going to just kind of move it inside the front of the truck so you only see this Part, like you can see it here. I used some lamps from high school years and I just wanted this to look very different and yeah also I did not mention this but even though I've used the tool mod you do not need the tool mod on my builds as you see free and I modded in the gallery so everything will still be in place but you do not need the mod even though I recommend it because Twisted Max is amazing the tool mod is amazing but you do not need it so you can just wrap this and you can let Barbie move in. And I've used roofs and so many different areas to make this work to kind of create the shape and it looks it looks very different but I feel like it looks better it looks more like a camper like the shape is so much better and yeah let me know what you think about this. I've then used some NoCC gallery art by Kobe Modri. You will find the ID in the description and in the gallery upload. And this is it. You can here see lots of screenshots. This build is available in the gallery, my ID's Kate Emerald, and you can also grab the trade cards from my Patreon. And speaking of which, it's time to thank my wonderful Emerald Patreons and my Emerald YouTube members. A big thank you to Mehmet Ali Baris Khan, Paula Anna, Asia, Emma Burns, Charlotte, 
Lisa Martin, Leah Cross, Saturated Spark, Shannon McClam, Stephen and Helena Lynn. Thank you so much for your huge support. A big thank you to all my other Patreons and YouTube members. And of course, a big thank you to all of you for watching this video and being here. I appreciate it so much. I love all of you so, so much. I hope you will have a perfect day. Thank you for watching and I hope I see you in the next video. Bye bye.